Hi, it's Dr. Myers here, and I wanted to do this recording uh, in spring of 2022 because of uh, getting a lot of email that is uh, not very well structured, and I, I want to talk about that. But this is all about learning assessments, and it, I'm probably going to replace what I have in Module 1 with this video for subsequent terms, but We'll see how this turns out. The message is, is for you. I am getting a lot of emails that are unstructured and not directed in a way that I can figure out what's going on. And a lot of what you're asking in separate emails really ought to be within learning assessments. So let's look at what learning assessments are all about. Um, First off, if you can see this, I'll make it a little bit bigger here in a second. In email, I'm asking that you always include E244 www spring 2002 or whatever is the current term and year. Now, um, that's very important because as I explained in both, I think, syllabus, but certainly in module one, I get a ton of email and I need your email highlighted and directed to uh, the folder that I use for class. If you include that, you'll get a much faster response. Already this term I have, uh, let's use air quotes and call it lost, uh, two students' emails that I didn't discover for days because it was in my regular email, which I don't check all that often. Um, certainly not looking for class material there. So that tagline in the subject is, is extremely important. Now, what else do I want in a separate email? I want your full name because I have multiple students with the same first name. Uh, I, I, I need that full name so I can make, you know, no mistakes in terms of who I'm talking to. So also, I need your UANet ID. Never your student number. I don't care about your student number. It, it makes no sense to me. It's, it's a random bunch of numbers as far as I'm concerned. The only time I see it, it happens to be printed out on the grade roster. Uh, who cares? I need your UANet ID. Also, always include which module attempt and question you're asking about, or if it's just a general question, what module are you in and referring to? That really helps me get directly to what it is that you're asking. Now, learning assessments include all of this. They either ask you directly for that material or it's included in the form. The subject is already pre-done and so forth. So those forms are really um, uh, you know, emails to me and I can reply to them and I do. I very much try to reply to every single learning assessment that I get. And that results in a minimum of 600 emails over the term from generating from me. So understand that, uh, you know, this kind of uh, order that I'm asking you for is, is pretty important to keep things on track. With uh, as many students as I have, once you, if everybody submits at the last moment on Tuesday night, which is fine, you're well within the required time, their learning assessment, uh, it takes me a couple days to go through in order to give everybody a response. Uh, so, and some responses are much longer than others because, you know, you, you need it or you didn't do well or we have set up an intervention or, or what have you, and all that is is pretty much extra. Let me do a cutaway here too. This is module three, for example. Uh, all modules are exactly the same, but I'm using this one for learning assessment purposes because of a specific issue here. And that is, uh, once you go through module three, you'll realize that there are seven lectures. And um, you'll never probably see seven lectures in another module again. It's just that this is so foundational it's really important. So there's a whole bunch of lectures here, all in video, to help you understand how to get through this. And when you come all the way down to the bottom of the module, there's a quiz. 
and some of you take the quiz and you think you're done. You missed this little thing right here which says where my cursor is. If you can see that, it says load more. Ah, there's a learning assessment. There is a learning assessment at the end of every single um, one of these. So then if we go to that learning assessment, you're going to go out to my web page and fill out a form. And this is really important because it is an easy way for you to communicate. In other words, you can write me an email on the side and maybe I miss it or you put in the right tagline and maybe I get to it. But you're often asking about something like, hey, I missed uh, this question in that module that I already did a learning assessment on. The proper place to put that question is in the learning assessment. It keeps all the conversation to, together. You know, again, with as many emails as many students, I try, but I can't remember exactly what each one of you have, you know, have done or what I have uh, said to you in response before. So if we go down here, there is a, a point I'm going to talk about here uh, real quick, and that is, have you completed all three modules on this module, all three attempts on this module? So there's yes, and I got a 10. All right, now it's just a, a nice highlight. You get to brag. It also alerts me that you get moved on very fast because I don't spend any time on your learning assessments if you get a 10, unless of course you do ask a question and then I will answer that. Or yes, I completed all three attempts, but my high score was less than 10 and you are, are, are below that going to put in what scores those were. But there's also this link here which says, if possible, I'd like an answer before I take my next attempt. I take these seriously, but I still need time to get to it and respond. So if you've taken an att one attempt and you did very badly and you cannot figure out a couple questions, here's what you do. You click here, you ask them inside this. I will do my best to get it back to you as quickly as, as possible. And um, the other thing here is just a comment or question, meaning well, this could be anything. This would be just a regular email or you want to say something or whatever. Again, you can always respond to these learning assessments once they send them to you. Just hit reply. Keep all the conversation together. It, it, it really super helps. Now, a couple of comments. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say is make sure that you have a learning assessment at the end of every quiz-based module and that you fill it out the second you finish that third attempt. That helps time uh, move a little faster for you. Don't wait till the next day. Don't forget to do it. If you forget to do it, I will never move you along. I won't have any reason or indication or I might have to write you an email and say, hey, I saw you finished a module, but you didn't do a learning assessment. That kind of delay is unnecessary. Just make sure you do do this. Now, question number one I wanted to talk to you about a little bit, and that is, what main principles have you learned that you did not fully understand before and describe your reaction? I've got to tell you, most students don't answer the question. It, it kind of frustrates me. I'm not asking, did you have problems? I'm not asking to hear your success and how you did. There's other questions and uh, here in space that you can put that and I want to hear those. Uh, I really do. I enjoy them. I, 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 I loved one student telling me he was really panicked, but then he studied and, and man, now he's ready to take on the whole court class. You know, light bulbs came on. I love hearing those kind of success stories as, as well as other issues that you might bring up and questions that you might have. But that's not question one. Tell me what you learned. Don't tell me, oh, I knew this before, and this is just a review. Every time I read something, even if I've read it before, I'm going to learn something. I'm going to learn something new. Tell me, and more importantly, tell me how it improved your understanding and what is your reaction? How has it changed your way of thinking? That's what I want to hear. I want to get some insight into that. There are two other questions here, that, that uh, or maybe three, two. Um, there are three on some modules later on. So what questions do you have at this time? So this this could be, whoop, I'm, 
this one number two what questions do you have at this time that could be anything any question most often it's going to be about the module that you took the questions that you missed or whatever and that would be great and then down here on number three is what comments do you have period and you don't have to fill out two and three if you don't have questions you don't have any comments lean blank and 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 that will be fine so let me let me end this uh it's getting long but um first part of this is what i really wanted to get across and that is try to keep everything in the learning assessments in your emails to me or obey, obey that email etiquette that says include all of those items so great success in this class and i hope you uh you do really well uh, we'll talk to you again